Hey guys, so I'm making myself a smoothie right now. So I just blended up some soy milk and some ice. And I'm gonna just put in a bunch of the berries right now that I had um, from that day that I went to Target. But today I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna take you guys along the ride for that. Um, I didn't even know I had this appointment. It was just one of the things where they called me to let me know that I had it. So um, I'm gonna go, it's today at two. So I'll take you guys along the ride for that. And I have a couple of things that I wanna talk to my doctor about. So hopefully I get some of that out of the way. And then it's a lot that I need to talk to him about. So hopefully I'm able to get all of it out today. If not, I have another appointment with my primary at the end of the month, so. Hopefully, I'll get everything that I need done. But, um, yeah. Let me finish making the smoothie, and then I'm gonna get dressed, and I'll see you guys when I get to my appointment. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. So, I put in some... Let me see if I can show you. I put in some blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, and then there's some raspberries in there as well. So... Yeah, I'm gonna just blend this up now. Pretty much it so i'm gonna drink this for the next maybe two or three hours before my appointment if not i'll just probably take it with me to my appointment so anyways like i said i'll see you guys when i get there hey guys so i'm at the doctor now they just made me fill out um two sheets this one i guess is for like depression and stuff and then this one's new they said it's like a new protocol that they have um it's just like general questions on like dental and nutrition and exercise and all the other stuff so yeah um they said they haven't well they haven't had any word of whether or not they changed my primary but i still think they did but um yeah i'm gonna try to get everything that i need done today i gave them the sheet that i made the, with all of my medical information with all of my allergies and medications that i'm currently on and i need to update it because from the last hospitalization, I found out I was allergic to Dilaudid, so I need to add that one to it, so, yeah. Anyways, um, I'll keep you guys updated on what happens when I get out, so I'll see you guys in a bit. So my appointment was at 1.30, it is now 3 o'clock, and I'm still waiting here. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm home, so... We got some things done. So I told them about my shunt hurting ever since the surgery and they referred me to neurology again. Mia, no. Sorry. Mia's trying to eat Nana's food. Anyways, um, so they're gonna refer me back to neurology. Um, apparently I was supposed to see them last year, but that never happened. And then I told her about how, like, I'm still in a lot of pain right here. And I still get, like, the shooting pain when I drink or eat anything. It doesn't really matter what it is. I just still get pain. So, Mia, say hi. So, um, she's gonna... See me back in two weeks just to see if the um, pain and all that has gotten any better because she does want me to go back to, vas to vascular. But vascular was the one that told me that um, it's all part of like the healing process of having surgery that I, the, well, at least the one that I had. So she wants to give that a little fair chance to possibly resolve itself. And if it doesn't within two weeks, then I'll go back to seeing vascular. 
But then I also told her about my ear hurting. And I thought it was because of the surgery as well. But turns out that I have built up wax in there. So she um, wants me to get this medication that will like loosen it up. And I'll have to go back tomorrow so that they can actually take it out. So, because she said it's a lot. But I didn't feel like that much pain in my ear, if at all any, until after the surgery. So I don't know if, because after the surgery I ended up sneezing a lot and I'm going through tissues like crazy. Like I'm having constant mucus come out, whether I'm coughing it up or sneezing and just blowing my nose. So I don't know if that's just part of it because ever since then I've had excess mucus. So I don't know if this possibly caused the excess wax to come out, if that makes any sense. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to wait for my mom to get home to um, take me to go buy the medication because they said I can buy it over the counter. So I'm going to see if I can just go with her to get it. Um, but yeah, as of right now, that's pretty much all in the works. Um, she want me to go see neurology again so i'm getting another referral for that um i'm getting referred back to psychiatry even though the last time i went they said that they couldn't help me because they said that they wanted me to go to a different psychology place that specialized in like psychology with patients that had medical problems so they said they couldn't help me and since they referred me to the other one i haven't heard anything since so she's gonna touch base with psychiatry again and see what's going on with them and see if i can get back into it because i'm running low on my anti-anxiety medication so yeah anyways um i'll see you guys in a little bit as soon as my mom gets home then um i'll see if we can go and put the medication in my ear and everything this is just a couple drops so, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. Mia. Psst, psst. <laughs> that was graceful. <laughs> Hi, Bimbi. Hey, guys. So, my mom's here. So, we're going to go right now to um, Walgreens. Yes. Yeah. We're going to Walgreens right now to go get the medication that I told you guys that I needed for my ears. And then they told me to do it tonight. Well, I was supposed to do it twice already. I was supposed to do it in the afternoon and then at night and then again right before my appointment tomorrow. But I'm only going to do it twice, which is right now and before my appointment tomorrow. So, so anyways, see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys. So we just left. Um, I got the off brand. Um, they work the same way. Yeah, same thing. Um, the actual one is called the Brax or something like that. But I got this one. And then this lady, when we were in the line, she's like, oh my god, I love your sweater. I wear my Winnie the Pooh one. That's pajamas. That's not supposed to be for public. It's just pajamas, but whatever. She's all like, I love your sweater. And so I got it from Target. And she's all like, I call my husband that. <laughs> How embarrassing. Her husband was standing right there. He's all like, I was trying to avoid that one. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, we're going to... Are we getting pan dulce? Yes. Okay. So we're going to go get pan dulce. What do you want? I want or you want? You don't want anything? Yeah, I do want. What do you want? I don't know. Look. Anyways. Let's see if we can get to the house. Alrighty guys, so we're home. So I'm gonna just drink this. I got um atol de latte and then we got some pan dulce, so I'm gonna enjoy that and then put the airdrops in my ear and then go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.